Hey what's going on guys today I'll show you how you can create this expanding image hover effect on your website by using Elementor. You can apply this effect on a team member area or in a product category section or any other places as you want. So today we will create this team member section with this effect which looks really cool and as you can see it's fully responsive from tablet, mobile or any other devices. So without further ado let's see how can we make that. So in this blank page, first of all, I want to create a new section and as I will create five images. So that's why let's take this five column section. And from here, if you want to add any additional column or delete any column, you can also do that from this option. So right now, first of all, I want to make this section to full width. So go to the section settings and make the content width to full width. And I also want to make it to full height. So select the height to minimum height and let's make it to 100% of our viewport height so let's make it to 100 pH okay now inside our first column let's add some content so go to this widget area and from here let's drag this heading widget inside this and as I am creating a team member section so let's write down the name of the team member and under that I also want to add some paragraph so let's take this text editor widget and let's also add some social media icons here search for social icons and drag this to here okay now we have taken all of the content then we want to put our image behind this content so for this we need to take it as a background of our this column so go to this column settings and go to the style and from this background option let's upload an image Okay, here we need to adjust this background image, make this position to center center and also make the size to cover. And here we also want to add some overlay. So go to this background overlay option and let's select this one, gradient and choose our first color to fully black and also the second color to the red. Okay, now we can see we have get our background but we also need to make this column to full height of this section so to do this go to the section settings and here instead of middle i want to set the column position to stretch okay but here you can see our content goes at the top of our column so to make it center let's go to this column settings go to layouts and from here make this horizontal alignment to the center and also make the vertical align to the middle okay now it's position perfect so now let's do some styling with this content so first of all let's go to this heading settings let's make its alignment to center and let's also change this color so from this text color option make it to white and also change its typography so let's make this font family to this font and let's also reduce the font weight to 500 then for this paragraph, I also want to make this to white. So from the style, make it to white and also make its alignment to center. And lastly, for the social icons, let's go to its style and I want to make its size smaller, 15 and also add some padding, increase the spacing to 18 and also make this to fully rounded. So make the border radius. To 50 pixel and here instead of this brand color I want to make it to a custom color so from here let's choose it to custom and from here we will change our background color to white but make it a semi transparent color so our design is done for our first column so by following the same process we can create our second column but here I don't want to start it from scratch so I just want to right click on here and duplicate this column and let's do it three more times and i also want to delete our remaining empty column so you can see our five column has been successfully created right now i just want to replace the content inside these columns so for our second column i just want to replace this image so go to the style tab and choose this one 
and here i also want to add a different gradient color so from this background overlay let's change this color to this bluish color and here also change this name and by following the same process let's also quickly change this other columns content okay we have completed changing all of the images and also this gradient color which now looks really cool so right now i want to add our hover effect so for this let's go to this section settings and go to this advanced tab and we need to go to this custom css option and by the way to use this custom css option you have to have the elementor pro so if you didn't have elementor pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description so let's paste our code snippet to here and you can see our content inside this column has been initially disappears and when we hover over on that now we can see this expanding effect and only for this hover state now our content is visible cool so here on this css code from this top line you can also control the width of this inner content so instead of 400 pixel if we make it to 500 or 600 pixel we can also control that from here okay let's redo this so now it's looking good from our desktop next i want to check this from our tablet device so let's go to this tablet mode and here it's also looking good but you can see we need to reduce the width of our content so for this we need to add some more custom css so go to this section settings and under custom css here at the very last we need to paste this more custom css code okay and here you don't need to worry about this code snippet i will give all of this code snippet link on my description you just need to copy and paste this code directly to here so here for our tablet device width we have set our content width to 300 pixel so that's why now you can see it's perfectly fit inside our each of the columns and here for the tablet device if you want to reduce the width of our this section you can also do that from this section settings from this layout tab you can also set a specific height like 500 pixel from here then finally check this from our mobile device and here you can see it's really looks super synced so for our mobile device i don't want to use this horizontal orientation instead i want to place this on vertically one after another so go to this section settings and go to the advance and here we will paste our last portion of the custom CSS. Now we can see it's also looking good for our mobile devices. And also here from this line, you can also control the height of these images. So initially we have used here 300 pixel height. And for our hover state, we have set the height here to 380 pixel. So if you want, you can also change those values from here. Okay, and lastly, let's update this to save our work so that's how you can create this cool image hover effect in elementor if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video